Today we're looking at one of the largest dog breeds, the Newfoundland, and how playful they are or aren't. Stick around to find out and we'll also go over some games that you can play with your Newfoundland too. Welcome back to the Fenrir Newfoundland Show. My name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Newfoundlands, then how to become high-level canine leaders who can raise perfect Newfoundland companions. So if you're a lifelong Newfoundland lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new Newfoundland pup, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future upload. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the playfulness of this massive breed. Almost every canine breed on the planet will be quite playful through their first year and many will continue to behave like puppies in some ways for up to the first two to four years of life. The age that a dog reaches maturity varies from breed to breed and many other influences impact this on an individual level. Like people, some individuals are more introverted than others, even if the breed is generally outgoing. So with that in mind, we're going to be looking at the Newfoundland's general playfulness, but remember each canine is unique. With that all out of the way, let's dig right in and look at the, one of the most significant factors in a breed's playfulness, their energy level. The Newfoundland reaches maturity around two to three years of age, and with their puppy and teenage years coming to a close, their energy level does tend to drop. They're generally a very high energy breed, but will range closer to the top of that energy scale for the first three years of life. When motivated and no matter their age, be prepared to see this energetic canine companion turn into the large and powerful breed they were made to be. Remember this breed has been used to haul fishing nets and cargo for a very long time. That means they're made to work long and hard hours. So teaching them a game like hide and seek in a controlled environment could be one way to work their mind and instincts while still playing with your Newfoundland. Make sure their reward for finding you or the hidden object is worthy of their effort to keep it an interesting game for their razor sharp minds. The Newfoundland is incredibly trainable and willing to please their calm, consistent leader. If your idea of a playful canine is one who loves to play with a tug toy, run after a ball or run obstacle courses, then the Newfoundland could be a great fit. They are high achievers who need a good bit of exercise several times a day, and they will settle in and chew on a bone or toy, but be prepared for them to fling it around if they're feeling particularly energised, and take this as a sign that you need to interact with them in a way that works their mind and body. Obedience drills can be a great solution to this since they can be done in the home or outside on a walk and the Newfoundland excels at that kind of work. Canines typically do play a bit more with children and they feed off their energy, with the Newfoundland being no exception. This is one area where their high energy can cause problems, even though they are typically very tolerant and gentle around children. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions so if you are interested i can't wait to see you over on tiktok but in the meantime i'll let you get back to the video you were watching when raised together many families never have a problem worse than accidentally knocking a child over or getting swatted by their wagging tail their family will see the playful side of a Newfoundland that they may be able to share with friends and strangers at the dog park. This is partly because they're considered to be one of the friendliest dog breeds around. Some might prefer a long walk or run, while others might prefer hide and seek games, and still others might think that playing with a tug is the best game ever. You'll need to try different things to see what your Newfoundland likes and adapt as they age or get bored. Most Newfoundlands do enjoy some wrestling and light roughhousing with the adults in the family since this means that they get a lot of direct attention that's not as structured as obedience drills. Speaking of attention, let's look at how inclined the Newfoundland is towards affection versus independence. Like most working breeds, they're happiest when the whole family is home, but they can do quite well alone too. Give them a few toys to play with during the day and a good solid bit of exercise in the morning and you might come home to find that your Newfoundland hasn't moved from their post at all once they've reached that maturity age. 
Before that age, they are prone to the same mischief of all young canines when their energy collides with boredom and they find an often destructive way to entertain themselves. When you're home, they'll track you from room to room and come snuggle up as close as they can get. Several long walks or runs and some playtime on the floor with lots of positive attention are the favourite activities for this breed once they've grown up. Overall, the Newfoundland tends to be fairly balanced in playfulness. They'll play more and play harder when they're still puppies, of course, and will mellow out as most other canines as they age. You'll probably get a solid hour of quality playtime with your mature Newfoundland several times each day and plenty of their adoring gazes. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have three dedicated Newfoundland videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.